In this problem, we're told a 0 0.045 kilogram golf ball initially at rest is given a speed of 25 meters per second when a club strikes it. If the club and ball are in contact for two milliseconds, what average force acts on the ball? Is the effect of the ball's weight during the time of contact significant? Why or why not? So let's go ahead and solve this problem. So keep in mind what they're asking for. They want us to find uh, the average force. And so the formula for average force, right, is equal to the change in momentum over the change in time. Okay. So the change in time essentially is how long it's in contact with the object it's hitting. In this case, they're in contact for two milliseconds. Uh, and then the change in momentum, we know momentum, or you should know momentum, is mv. So this is the formula for momentum. It equals mass times velocity. And if we want to find the change in it, right, it's going to be m times v final minus m times v initial, right? Which just, just means the final momentum minus the, uh, the initial momentum is going to give you the change in it, right? Hopefully that makes sense. So this is the formula we're going to use, and we can simplify this a bit by factoring out the m, right? Because m times v final minus v initial, right, over the change in time. If you expand this, right, m and m, it's just going to become this. But yeah, so this is the formula we're going to use to solve. So let's write our given now. So what do they tell us? They tell us it's going to have a mass, our golf ball, right, of 0 0.045 uh, kilograms. So that's the mass it's going to be initially at rest, right? So they tell us the initial velocity, or vi, is zero, because it starts at rest. And then it's going to be uh, hit, and it's going to be given a speed of 25 meters per second, meaning the final velocity, right, is 25 meters per second. Cool. And so we know the time of contact, too. They tell us if the ball, if the club and ball are in contact for two milliseconds, meaning uh, change in time, right, or just the impact time, is two milliseconds. So now we've got all our variables, but uh, keep in mind that this is in seconds. So this needs to be in milliseconds, right? So, or this needs to be in seconds, not milliseconds. And you can convert it by dividing by a thousand because milli just means a thousand. So divide it by a thousand and you'll get it in seconds and you're going to get 0 0.002 seconds. Okay. So 0 0.002 seconds, that's going to be the impact time. So now we've got all our variables, right? We have M, we have V final, we have V initial, we have the change in time. So we can just solve. So plugging stuff in, right? Plug in the mass, 0 0.045, multiplied by V final minus V initial. V final is 25, V initial is zero. So 25 minus zero is still 25. And then all that over the impulse time, which is 0 0.002. So you wanna go ahead and do this, right? So do 0 0.045 times 25, right? and then divide by 0 0.002. And then when you do this, you're going to get uh, you're going to get 5500, right? So this is the average force, right? You're going to get it equals 562.5. Right? So if you plug this in your calculator, you'll get that. And so, yeah, so this right here and keep in mind the uh, units it's newtons. So it's going to be in newtons, right? So 562.5 newtons, that's gonna be average force, uh, or the average force that's acted on the ball, right? So this right here is your answer to the first part. Now the second part, is the effect of the ball's weight during this time of contact significant? So keep in mind what weight is, it's just the force due to gravity in this case, right? So uh, we know it's just gonna be mg, right? And let's keep in, let's solve for this, right? So let's solve for the weight, and then that'll show you why, uh, or whether or not, is the effect of the ball's weight significant or not. So M is the mass, which is 0 0.045 multiplied by G, which is 9.8. All right, so go ahead and do this, 0 0.045 times 9.8, right? And when you do this, you're going to get it equals 0 0.441 newtons, right? Because this is just newtons. Uh, and so what this tells you is look how small the weight force is, right? So uh, it's going to be 0 0.441 newtons, while this is 562.5. And what that should tell you is since this is so small, it's not really going to have an impact and it can basically uh, just be neglected, right? Because it's not going to have a significant effect because it's such a small number. But so is the effect of the ball's weight during the time significant? No, right? Because it's such a small number. But yeah, so this right here is your answer to the first part, the main answer, right? So 562.5 newtons and then the weight, is it significant? No, right? Because it's such a small number. But uh, yeah, so these are your answers and hopefully you found this useful.